Hello, my name is Fox and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. In week 30 of 2023, we had 85 tournaments with a total of 1,889 players and 7,690 games played. Predictably, the Eldari are still at the top with an impressive 28 wins and 55 top 3 placings. They have a weighted placing of 6.3, the best overall. I think we all know by now just how well Eldari are doing in 10th. The Space Marines come next with 10 wins, but the highest weighted placing in the blue group of 33.7. While their weighted placing is very high, it's significantly better than the 56.2 they got last week. Necrons come next with 9 wins and the third best weighted placing of 14.6. The Necrons have a very good week in terms of winning tournaments. Perhaps they are finally living up to the potential of their index. We will have to wait and see if they can continue their good form. Custodians are the last faction in blue with 8 wins and a weighted placing of 20.8. Tyranny is top the green group with 5 wins and 17 top 3 finishes. They have the same number of tournament wins as last week, and their weighted placing is only slightly higher at 22.2. The Imperial Knights, the last faction in green, also getting 5 wins, but less top 3 finishes with 10. Their weighted placing is 23.6, which is significantly higher than the 17 they got last week. The GC of the Colts top the other group with only 3 wins, and a weighted placing of 28. They performed worse than last week in terms of winning tournaments. In my opinion, they had the most changes in the FAQ. Perhaps the requirement to stay within 3 inches of their cult ambush markers has weakened their winning potential. Drukari get the second best weighted place in this week with 9, an impressive week for them, however they did only have 27 players. 24 factions managed at least one top 10 placing with the Space Marines getting the most top 10s with 118, the Aldari were in second on 105, which is the closest we have ever seen a faction get to beating Space Marines. It really shows just how well they are doing at the moment. The Custodies are in third with 70 top 10 placings. Unsurprisingly the Space Marines are the most played faction with 17.84% of players taking them. Aldari the second most popular faction on 9.26%, followed by Custodies in third on 8.79%. The Custodies seem to have cemented their place as the third most popular faction for the time being. It takes our resident stats guru and Ultramarine fanboy Fearless Fox many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking and sharing the video. It really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour with the key at the bottom of the screen. This week, the second most popular faction, Eldari, topped the win rate with a very high 69%. To achieve such a high win rate from 175 players is probably one of the best weeks we have ever seen for a faction. Surely GW can't wait until early September to make some changes to them. At this point, I think many players would appreciate it if GW revisited Aldari sooner rather than later. The Genes of the Colts topped the green group with a win rate of 59.4%, which is a significant drop from the 65.4% they got last week. Perhaps the FAQ changes have made them ever so slightly weaker, what do you think has caused their drop in form, especially at winning tournaments? Let us know in the comments. The third most popular faction, Custodies, come next with a win rate of 54.6%. Things are looking rather bright for the Golden Boys at the moment. The Thousand Sons continue to place in the green group with a win rate of 51.8%. Necrons are the final faction in green with a win rate of 50.3%. It'll be interesting to see if they continue their good form. They are consistently placing in the top 10 at tournaments. The Imperial Knights get a win rate of 47.4% which is way down on the 54.4% they got last week. With their drop in win rate, it is a bit more understandable why they have a relatively high weighted placing this week. Another faction that has performed significantly worse are the Tyranids. They had a win rate of 54.5% last week, compared to the 46.4% they got this week. We did see them win a big 111 player GT in our last tournament spotlight, so it is a bit surprising that their win rate has dropped so significantly. The most popular faction, Space Marines, get a win rate of 41.9%, Stay tuned to later on in the video where we will break down the win rates of the individual chapters. The second most popular faction, Eldari, topped the Leviathan to date win rates with an impressive 66.2%. Their win rate is getting even higher. The Gene Sealer Colts were in second place with a win rate of 61.4%. If they continue their slightly worse form, they will drop out of the blue group in the Leviathan to date rankings. Imperial Knights topped the green group with a win rate of 56.1%. Their overall win rate in 10 continues to drop, and they will soon hit the Goldilocks zone. The new third most popular faction, Custodies, come next, with a win rate of 54.5%. I wouldn't be surprised if the Custodies overtake Knights to claim the third spot for themselves in next week's stats. Demonstrating their consistent form, the Thousand Sons have moved into fifth place, with a win rate of 51.2%. The Tyrannies dropped back after a relatively poor week, they are now on a win rate of 50.8%. They still remain narrowly ahead of Chaos Demons, who are on a win rate of 50.3%. The most popular faction, Space Marines, get a win rate of 43.4%, with a further 9 factions below them, 5 of which are in red. The Astra Militarum got a win rate of 48.9% this week. If they continue to perform at this level, they will soon reach the Goldilocks zone, 
to join the eight known factions which are already there. I must say I find it a little odd GW is seemingly happy to leave the balance as it is for the time being. Only three factions are over 55%, however one faction in particular is sweeping all other factions aside. The American Team Championship took place in these stats, a bigger 362 player tournament. In the individual placings the Aldari got the top 6 spots, running very similar lists to what we have seen in our previous tournament spotlights. There was only 2 units across all 6 lists which we haven't seen before, Dark Reapers and the Avatar of Kane. If GW looked at this tournament and just added some points to the units which all lists were taking, that would at least make them a little easier to deal with. The main issue, however, is the 10 factions below 45%, which is nearly half of all the factions in the game. If GW went through and gave these factions meaningful points and rules changes, as well as some further point increases for Aldari, they would go a very long way to fixing the major issues with 10th at the moment. This week the Death Watch topped the win rates with 51.7%. They performed significantly better than the chapters with more than a handful of players. The joint third most popular chapter, the Black Templars, topped the yellow group with a win rate of 47.7%. The Imperial Fists are the only other chapter with more than one player in the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 45.7%. Only three chapters being in the Goldilocks zone is a little disappointing. It really shows how much Index Space Marines is struggling. This is especially apparent as the two chapters with a decent number of players, the Death Watch and Templars, both have their own indexes with their unique units. The second most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, get a win rate of 43.4%, followed by the other joint third most popular chapter, the Blood Angels, on a win rate of 42.7%. The Salamanders get a win rate of 42.6%, with the Space Wolves getting a win rate of 40.6%. The most popular chapter, the Ultramarines are way down, with a win rate of 37%. I personally thought they would be easily the highest of the Index Space Marine chapters, considering they have access to a plethora of named characters. It looks like Gulliman's Crusades are not working too effectively at the moment. Fittingly, the Death Watch now top the Leviathan to date win rates with 51.4%. They are just a cut above the rest at the moment. The Iron Hands are still in the green group with a win rate of 50.8%. They only got a win rate of 39.6% this week, which explains why they have dropped significantly down the rankings. The Raven Guard just get in the Goldilocks zone with a win rate of 45%. The second most popular chapter, the Dark Angels and the Space Wolves come next, both getting a win rate of 44.3%. The Imperial Fists get a win rate of 43.6%, with the fellow Sons of Dawn and third most popular chapter, the Black Templars, on 42%. The most popular chapter and Fearless's favourite Blue Boys, the Ultramarines, get a win rate of 41.2%. The Blood Angels have far more players than the rest of the chapters in red. They are really struggling with a win rate of 39.2%. This week, the majority of the Chaos Space Marine warbands are unknown, so we'll go straight into Leviathan so far. The 10 Emperor's Children players top the win rate with 62.5%. The Iron Warriors, Red Corsairs and Fallen are all on a win rate of 50%. The most popular warband, the Black Legion, get a win rate of 48.6%, followed by the Night Lords, who have a win rate of 43%. Wordbearers get a win rate of 42.9%, with the Alpha Legion on a win rate of 41.7%. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.